Okay, so we have two beakers with silver residue in. They're quite pure because they've been made from copper sulfate. I think you mean precipitated out of a copper sulfate solution. And I can't see any blue in there. And our nitric acid. And distilled water for rinsing everything. We can now see that the sample wasn't that pure after all because there's a slight green colour in the liquid, which is from residual copper ions, unfortunately. Anyway, we'll heat it and see what happens. It's starting to react. I turned it down a bit, but now it's stopped. So we'll turn it up a little. That's better. That brown gas is nitrogen dioxide, which is quite toxic. Okay, so I managed to bring that under control somewhat. And um, you can see that the solid has increased in volume quite a lot because um, each silver molecule Atom! Silver atom! is acquiring a nitrate molecule to join itself to. And so it takes up a lot more volume. We'll just wait until the brown colour dissipates and then the remaining nitric acid will evaporate quite quickly and leave us behind with white silver nitrate. So that's pretty fresh white silver nitrate that will slowly go grey with light exposure and there's some green contamination of copper ions in there but... Well that was definitely silver nitrate. 